where were we? Um, let's see, we were on Mount Victus. Um, I don't know what other rights I'd like to see added. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'd like to see changed. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Anybody that puts a common sense point of view on it, they won't listen to that. So, um, you know, I'm really not sure what I'd like to see changed. You know, there's a lot of things in this country that are wrong. Um, will they ever fix it? Kind of doubt it. You know, that would make too much sense. I mean, that's probably a bad way of looking at it, but I mean, it's pretty much the truth. There's a lot of things that should probably be uh, looked at differently, but if somebody's making money on it, it ain't going to get changed. Um, you know, that's for damn sure. You know, even privatizing prisons and shit. Um, you know, somebody's going to make money on it. And it just depends on if he's got buddies high enough up to get it passed. Regardless if it's right or wrong. As long as the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, it's going to happen. You know, sad state, but, you know, it's the way it goes. Um, government in control? Hell yeah, there's too much control. You know, this is supposed to be a land of the free, land of the free my ass. You know, we can't do what we want to do. Hell, even stuff that's in our Constitution we can't have half the time. So, um, all right, let's go on to another person. I think I did all of his. Probably didn't give him enough answers of the ones he was looking for. But, uh, let's do another one. Fraternities. I don't know what to say on that. Um, I was never in one. Don't know a lot about them. Um, I don't see me being part of a fraternity. Um, I, mean, I went to college, but I didn't do that. I'm more of a leader, not a follower, so it wouldn't have done good for me. Um, uh, here's another one on health care. Chaos Lord 73, what are your feelings on political correctness and has it gone too far in your opinion? Are there double standards between groups? Um, yeah, political correctness has went way the hell too far. I mean, you can't say shit anymore without offending somebody or ticking somebody off or... And then the sad part is, you'll, you know, if you got a good job, you'll probably lose it over political correctness. I mean, look at that one coach. I don't know his name. Hell, I don't even know if he was football or basketball. I think he was basketball. But, uh... I made the comment, those nappy-headed hoes, and he lost his job over it. I mean, really? Really? You lost your job because you called some women some nappy-headed hoes. Really? Now, I don't know how much the guy made, but uh, probably six figures, I'd imagine. If not close, you're going to lose a six-figure figure job because you called some girls some nappy-headed hoes. You didn't call them nappy-headed niggers. You didn't call them black bitches or 
you know what I'm saying? You, you, you called them nappy-headed hoes, and you're going to lose your job over it. That one actor, um, oh, what was his name? He's in the Sprite commercials, all happy and shit. He had a guy heckling him. He called him a nigger, and pretty much lost his career. Granted, he shouldn't have said that, but to lose your career because you made a comment in anger, you know, now, you gonna get that? I don't even know where it is. You know, he, he had a heckler, he called the guy out. He's done. Um, I'm not condoning what he did, but that guy makes buku bucks, or used to. Now, you know, he probably had to beg, borrow, and plead to get the Sprite commercial. Five, ten years ago, he wouldn't even have done that commercial. It would have been beneath him. But now he's got to start over because some guy was heckling him and he lost his cool. Yes, he should have come up with another word to call the guy. He should have handled it differently. But people say things in anger that they don't mean. It doesn't mean he's a racist just because he used that word. Um, granted, Racist will probably use that word more than non-racist, but, I mean, words don't hurt you. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Come on. You know, and, you know, people have come into this country and then whined and cried. You know... Oh, this offends me. Well, then why'd you come here? Um, I got a sign over here. There's a place in Pennsylvania, a bar and restaurant, and this guy has these politically incorrect signs. And every week he changes them. He's even got it in his will. He's got money set aside. So when he dies, the restaurant will be sold, but the sign won't. It'll remain in his control or whatever, or one of his people's control. And there's money set aside to keep it going. But one of the signs says something like, uh, you know, in 1903 my grandfather came over here from such and such country. He had to learn English to survive. He could not survive in this country without knowing our language. Fast forward to the present, now we have to press 2 for English. 2 pisses me off. If English was first choice, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem. I shouldn't have to push anything. If you can't speak our language, you should have to push the button, not me. But, I mean, that's a prime example. All these people have come to this country. We should bend to them instead of them bending to us. If you don't like it, return to the shithole country you came from. You came here because it was better than where you were at. Then you're going to come here and expect this country to change to your shit. Now, if we went to your country, would you do that for us? I bet you two isn't even an option. I bet you two is number seven or eight or nine if it's there at all. You know, they wouldn't do it for us, but we're supposed to do it for them. Bullshit. Hold on, somebody's coming in.